Hey, what's going on you guys? My name is The Raptor and welcome back to another one of my reaction videos. And today we're going to be reacting to the new episode of Death Battle which just came out, which is Killua from Hunter Hunter versus Misaka from A Certain Magical Index or A Certain Scientific Railgun, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, I'm pretty excited for this episode. I have to admit I don't have that much to say about either of these characters specifically. If I really had to pick someone who I'm rooting for, I guess Killua, you know, I'm not really too attached to either one of these characters, um, but I am a little familiar with Hunter x Hunter, it seems like a really interesting series actually, um, but uh, but yeah, no nothing too, um, nothing too strong of a connection for either of these characters, for me anyway. Um, I actually just got out of seeing the Flash movie, so I feel like I've kind of got my fill of electric stuff, uh, but you know what, I guess let's keep going. In terms of who I think is going to win, Right now, I'm leaning more towards Misaka for winning. Apologies if I call her Mikasa at any point. I've been watching a lot of Attack on Titan, so I feel like it might happen. Um, but it just seems to me like there's more reason to believe that she's more powerful at her peak, especially when it comes to like her transformations or like her what is it, like a kaiju or a mech kind of thing, like that stuff, like especially at that level, it just seems like she, she would be too much for Killua. It also seems like she has better speed feats, it seems like she has a lot more control over her abilities, and a lot more abilities in general as well, so that's kind of what I'm thinking right now, but again, you know, Death Battle definitely knows more about these characters than I do, so I'm just really excited to see what happens with this fight, hopefully it's a good episode, um, and we'll just have to see who wins. So without further ado, let's get started. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp and HelloFresh. Awesome. Remember it was Blue Apron all the time, and now it's HelloFresh. You gotta get paid, I guess. Killua Zoldek, Hunter Hunter's prodigious lightning assassin. I like the effects, the Misaka lightning effects. Koto, Academy City's Ace Electric Princess. They got some new editors, Question. right? What is more some people quit? Than the all Doing a good job. Crackling might of lightning. Lightning in the hands of A Spider Verse. That was that was amazing. Teenagers. Mm -hmm. oh, the worst combination. Please, please, <laughs> and I'm boomstick. I mean, and it's our job some instances, yes. Armor and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Awesome. All right, let's go. The Zoldicks, a vicious family of assassins known the world over, so infamous for their killing techniques, a single photo of any member sells for millions. Wow. You don't want to be the target of their next family outing. <laughs> but like all families, there's bound to be a rebel. As was the case with the middle gotcha. child, Killua. Kind of expected they that, to be honest. named him Kill? Hardcore. Mm -hmm. Well, it might be a pun on the term Kilowatt, but Kill is at, given he's been trained in past tensing people since he was three. <laughs> right, past like tensing 14, people. He was strong enough to open a 64-ton door. Jeez, wow. what kind of workout did his family put him through? Somehow it gave him six skater skills, extendable claws, and rhythm echo. A yeah, you just you train long enough and you get all these things. Just his feet. More accurately, by manipulating the cadence of his footsteps, Killua can create an auditory illusion, mm -hmm. capable of tricking even extrasensory abilities. Killua was a heck That's of impressive. A prodigy, but despite being able to effortlessly rip out hearts, his Jeez. family still thought he wasn't cold blooded enough. Fed up. What more do you want? <laughs> Not to the circus, but these other guys must be really hardcore. An association of people who hunt stuff. Right. There he tested himself. The hunters in the name twice. <laughs> and inevitably had gone head over heels for his new friend, Gone. Get it? Uh, yeah, I get it. Wiz, are you still taking those waste of time improv classes? Yes, and I think it's going pretty well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, and Killua's classic improv. Didn't like him uh, making friends, so they sat him down and then calmly and politely tortured him mercilessly as right. punishment. Right. As, as long as it's polite, that Killua finally it's okay. Convinced his old man to let him go out on adventures with his buddies. But this nice. change of heart was no act of compassion. Killua's oh. father saw his maybe not so just nice. Another step in molding him into a better killer. And in some ways, he was right. Through his adventures, Killua learned Nen, an invisible life force that. Yeah, yeah, it's key. It's always <laughs> key. Actually, this well, one's a bit. You have more a name for like power supply, you yeah. See, Nen is utilized through four main principles. Ten for containing your aura while defending from physical and mental attacks. Zetsu for relieving fatigue and masking your presence. Okay. Ren for bolstering strength and influencing emotions. Yeah, it's pretty standard so far. And Hatsu, the unique way in which one's Nen is expressed. This okay. comes in many forms, but all fall into one of six types, which represent how proficient a Nen user is at certain techniques. So it's Try to be an really RPG observant class here. System? More like a hybrid class system, because most users actually fall somewhere between two categories, giving them different I like that. Of proficiency. 
techniques yeah. from these Nen categories can even be further enhanced by adding rules to their use. Oh, oh wow. Then there are the advanced principles, which, oh, God. This is like some yeah. real oh, in-depth yeah, stuff. Oh, Killua was hot to yet. Killua is a transmuter enhancer, i.e. he specializes in transmuting his aura into different forms and enhancing the power of himself and others. He Without zooming in on ways. Lightning! Yeah. Uh, yes. Thank you, Boomstick. In Sometimes Killua's it's hand, that easy. It becomes a deadly weapon that he can fire down as a bolt, channel through his arms, or send through metal objects. Like his right. super alloy yo yos. These bad Ooh. boys weigh up to 50 kilograms. See, that's <laughs> kilograms. Pun, Wiz. Packing a Is it a pun on kilograms instead of kilowatt? Like I just shattered Wiz's confidence. Add in mm. Killua's lightning, and he can electrify anyone who touches them. And this isn't some magic-y smagic -y lightning. His bolts have been identified as the real deal more than once. Meaning Which means their speed is, is the as same. fast as actual lightning. Yeah. Especially when he uses it on himself to bust out God speed. Oh, yes. One that greatly amplifies his agility and power, letting him bypass his synapses to reflexively react to threats. For regular mm, folk, that right. much voltage would be too much. But thanks to Killua's training, he can shrug off over a million volts yep. of electricity. He's also I think Misaka can do more than that, but we'll Nen see. In a fight, every move matters, and strategy almost always triumphs, even against greater strength. Killua used these powers to battle world-renowned thieves, bombers, and Because he even moves at the speed of lightning. And gotcha. Ants. That may not sound like much, but these chimera ants were brutal, murdering mm. and eating people by the hundreds of thousands, then threatening billions. Whoa. That reminds me of an old experiment. Gone horribly wrong. Killua Liz, why is it always you and battle, like Gon putting innocence in, in danger? <laughs> Killua wanted to be there for Gon emotionally, but could not comprehend why he was risking so much against the chimera ants, going as far as becoming a monster. In other words, no. Killua was crushing really hard, but didn't know what to do about Gon's simple minded impulsiveness. It simple minded? Didn't end well, for anyone. It wasn't oh, all God. doom and gloom, though. Killua held his own against some of the Chimera Ants best, surviving this forest-consuming blast from one of their captains. How much is it? Judging by its size, Thank you. <laughs> worth several Killua tons. And he later nice. injured a top-ranking royal guard, Yupi. Sure, he ran for the hills the moment Godspeed wore off, and isn't as strong as the weird horse man, but even just damaging someone yeah. who can make a crater like this is nothing to sniff at. But oh, right, yeah. All the fighting, Killua still Maybe not scaling not exactly, but out of his mind. you're in the same Literally. world, so it needs something. His brother, Ilumi, put a needle in his head, forcing him to be controlled by self-preservation, ensuring oh. he'd always run when victory isn't guaranteed. Wiz, you think you can call CBS for that? Thankfully, after some much so he's just gonna run, maybe? self-reflection, Killua removed it, overcoming his oh, okay, mental barrier go. and ready to risk his life for those he cherished. Great. Perfect. Which he did when he finally got himself and his dear sister Alika away from their demented family. He even brought Gon back from the brink of his creepy Nen coma. But despite okay. how valuable Gon was as a friend, seems, it seems like Killua these two are pretty cool. His unhealthy dependence on him. So he decided to travel with and protect Aluka, finally realizing what he wants to do for the rest of his life. Oh god, the tearful romantic party! Still good for them, Aluka right? Ever need help, this is the storytelling sure we want. Running. Ready to Killua anyone dumb enough to mess <laughs> with him or those So he many cares Killuas about. in here. Alright, that was Killua, now on to Academy Misaka. Academy City. A sprawling metropolis filled Different with aspect ratio, I see. trained to master their supernatural abilities. Most of these youngins dream of rivaling the best espers, but only a few are hardworking and smart enough to do it. Among right. them being Tokiwa Dai Middle Only the strongest level will survive, right? Master, Misaka Mikoto. Oh, there you go. Aspect ratio changed. So she's a Pokemon, but an anime girl. Each Esper's power okay, and utility I guess. is ranked, with level five being the highest they can normally achieve. A lot of, a lot of aliases, level, I see. Misaka became unstoppable. She can magnetize herself to metal, electrically enhance her physique, sense her surroundings through an electromagnetic radar, and generate okay. billions of volts. In addition, she can billions. make iron there sand, we go. disparate particles in the air to form tornadoes, body decoys, or a sword that vibrates at rapid speeds for enhanced cutting power. Just what an anime like the high frequency needs, blade. A chainsaw. Man, if she gets serious, <laughs> Misaka can even Come on. make a friggin' six million ton kaiju out of it. Yeah, that's Such what I was talking about. power, Misaka put an end to many crimes, earning fear among criminals, admiration among her peers, and lots of personal pride in her abilities. There was nothing Going over a lot of stuff already, come. actually. Nothing except the bane of all Sundares, a frizzy-haired, dumbass anime protagonist. Ah, gotcha, Enter it's one Kanjo of these. Toma, 
a level zero nobody who Misaka could not harm, no matter mm. how many times she tried. Oh, I hate you, but I secretly love you, and it'll work out in the end. Shut up! But she'd have more than a dork like Toma to worry about. As amazing as Academy City is, it's more corrupt than New York real estate. Years ago, Misaka gave some shady signs. I live in Canada, so don't have to deal much with that. Promised it'd help cure tons of fatal diseases. Instead, they made tens of thousands of clones of her. Yikes! Sending them all to be slaughtered one by one. Specifically against another level five and A tier edge lord named Accelerator. Yeah. By farming all these clones. Sorry, you didn't get to fight Magneto, buddy. EXP to become a mythic level six. Is that seriously all it takes? How does this so you can become a level work? six, okay. I'm glad you asked. Espers represent the scientific side of the world, a side I'm oh so familiar with. Right. All espers possess an involuntary movement or aim diffusion field that manifests their power, letting them consciously alter reality. Changing reality with your mind. Isn't that just magic? Au contraire, Boomstick, it's quite scientific. Look at oh. Misica's signature move, is it now? the railgun. Many real-life railguns use a set of parallel conductors to generate Lorentz force. By envisioning imaginary rails between herself and her target, Misaka can create a similar yet greater effect, accelerating the speed and kinetic force of a projectile, usually a so coin, she's an accelerator into a herself. Bullet. It's beautiful. It's science. <laughs> How long are you going to be nerding out over this? Come on, this is like my one thing. It, uh, yeah, it is. I, uh, oh yeah, that, to be fair. Dead clones. Traumatized by the endless slaughter, Misaka felt enormous guilt. You see it all the time with horrific experiments. Sure, buddy. Gotcha. She worked for days to end the clone project, but concluded it would have to end with her sacrifice. But Toma really? put it in, okay. giving Misaka the support she needed. Not 100% sure how that works, but okay. While also punching out Albino Magneto with his Esper proof. <laughs> Magneto, there we go. Misaka had shouldered her burden for so long that she forgot how to rely on others. This mm. wake-up call from her newfound crush was exactly what she needed. But even with okay. Accelerator decelerated, Misaka kept fighting Academy City's underbelly, all to protect her friends and free her sister clones she befriended. She dealt with a lot of trouble on the way, but had the power to do it. In her battle with a nice. killer cyborg lady, Misaka conjured a city-spanning storm, which, Whoa. by measuring the size of the cloud relative yeah, that's to the city, be a lot. would require over 58 kilotons of energy to make. Kilotons. She's also fought other <laughs> Come on. Other fines, we're we're done with Killera. She got into a middle school beef with a snobby telepath, fought this explosive weirdo, and that's his Mach 473. Interesting. Karen, the electrons of which can accelerate to high relativistic speeds. It's no shot. Interesting. Uh, Very interesting. That fast, given her lightning has been stated to be light speed on five different occasions. Whoa. More than just her powers, though. I didn't know it was her lightning that was that fast. Wow. Into. It might not look it, but high-level espers constantly perform tons of nerd math just to make their powers work. Oh yeah. Understanding you got to, I think. Has been yeah. Just as vital to Misaka's survival. Take her bout with the magic Valkyrie, Brunhill. Remember when Wiz said Espers were the science side of the world? Yep. Well, these weirdos are packing the magic. A single so there is magic in this world, okay. Meant death, but she still stalemated Brunhild. Now, Brunhild was still stronger and faster, but it is impressive Misika was able to harm a saint, who are normally only deployed against foes capable of leveling mountains. One Yikes. such foe, Hell, froze 100 kilometers of ocean. You'd think this means Misika can okay. take on all sorts of magical baddies. But alas, the power creep says otherwise. Oh. This is actually serious. When you're dealing with crazy magicians and magic gods, even a level 5 Esper struggles to keep up. Oh, Misa yeah. valued her abilities so highly that she struggled to maintain her self-esteem when they weren't enough. A shame mm -hmm. Misaka cares so much about getting stronger when Toma I love it when they go into the writing and, like, the story arcs, foremost. you know? While certainly a flaw that... I, I love that so much. ...heartheadedness will also keep Misaka around, no matter the stakes. So watch out, because this pint-sized 14-year-old is quite literally a walking railgun. All right, awesome. All right, okay, so now we got to talk about this. All possibilities. It's time for a <laughs> death battle! Death battle! And let's pause the video. Okay, so... Huh, who do I think is going to win? Honestly, like really, the thing that, that's getting me the most is just wondering whether or not they're going to pull out other stuff for either of these characters, but especially Killua, because it really seems like 
Misaka has the advantage. Um, I knew that she had light speed capabilities. I will say I did not know that her lightning was stated to be light speed that many times. I know for some people statements aren't enough, but when it's that many times, like it's clear that that is the intention. Like that, it like that's basically the writer confirming that that's what it is. So that I have no problem buying, and we know that Killua's lightning is just regular lightning speed, which is like I believe, and someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's like. 3,000 times slower or something. So that's that's quite a big gap, you know? And it said that Killua was as fast as his lightning. Um, I will say, I didn't catch whether or not they said that, like, uh, Misaka was as fast as hers, but I do believe she also just has light speed reaction feats in, like, the light novel and and all that. So I think, I think she could still match that speed herself. Either way, I think it's fair to say that she is faster. In terms of who's more powerful... Um, I also definitely think Misaka's more powerful based on what they've shown. They they show that they have fought characters that are stronger than them, and while they probably can't match them, they can still do some damage, and that's really impressive, you know, don't get me wrong. But even if we're just looking at the numbers that they threw out, for, for Killua it was a little over 3 kilotons, for Misaka I believe was nearly 60, so that's also a big difference. Not as big as, like, the supposed speed gap, but still. And then apparently, like, they, they didn't go too in-depth into some of the characters characters that Killua had fought and like what they could do necessarily like there was that huge crater or whatever but I don't think that crater stacks up to potential like mountain busting again I don't know if it's fair to say that she scales to that herself maybe they'll say that it is fair to say that um after the fight is over I don't know um but it really just seems like Misaka has the advantage based on those stats and I do think she has more abilities like they went into a lot of the Nen types and just like the class system or whatever for um for Killua, which I really appreciated, but it seemed like they were really doing that just to like fill up the space because I don't think he had as much going for him in terms of quantity as Misaka. Like she has like that iron sand or whatever. Again, like the big kaiju. Um, she has like her her electro her electric powers, her electromagnetism powers, and even the volts as well. As I said before, Killua has shrugged off a million volts. Maybe he shrugged off more. He could certainly shrug off at least a little more. But I don't think he shown off a billion bol volts or billions of volts at least they didn't say so again they could very easily turn this around and just leave all of Killua's best feats for after the fight is over but based on what they're saying right now I honestly think that Misaka just has this it's what I was thinking when I came into this just based on my knowledge of the characters and I'm still thinking that especially after what Death Battle said so if Killua wins I'm gonna have to hear it but you know either way I just hope I enjoy the battle and uh and yeah let's get to it Nice background. Like a th real 3D background. Nice. Hey, that's mine. I've been looking for it all day. Give it here. Killua, give it to what? her. <laughs> Come and get it. God damn it. I knew you'd do that. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Getting right into it. Coins, huh? Mm. I had a butler who used these. I wouldn't get too cocky, Killua. <gasps> of course, you don't know anything about her, but still. <laughs> there we go. <gasps> Oh yeah, I do think this could trip her up for a little, but I don't think it's going to be enough. I wanted to mention that. Oh, nice. Okay. Smart. He's good at hand to hand. Better keep my distance. She has stronger light. That is a good idea, I think. He is very skilled. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Riding in style. We're going all around the city. Oh boy, big storm. Ouch. On the yo-yo. Another yo-yo. Uh, no time to break. <laughs> you can't take breaks in a death battle. Track sounds nice. Now's my chance. Well, it's not over that quick. There we go. That's god speed, right? Ow! Yeah, that can allow him to get close at least a little bit. Although that's gonna be sharp. <laughs> I'm having fun with this so far. Oh boy. Oh god. Ow. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Here we go. Killua? 
Are you okay? Yeah, you actually are. <laughs> She's keeping this thing together with electromagnetism. Maybe mm -hmm. it can be disrupted. Oh god. That that's surprising actually, but is that Oh my god! Wait a minute. Oh Jesus! 35 meters. Altitude 45. Oh god, this is the kill shot. I, it has to be. Ow! Oh my god! You had to do him like that! <laughs> like, I know the coin is moving super fast, but Jesus Christ, he exploded! Angle, the electromagnetism, the science, it mm -hmm. hits. Alright, take a breather yeah, there, Jack. Calm down, Wiz. While Killua's assassin training made him a vicious threat, Misaka's abilities and know-how gave her the counter she needed in this mind-numbing battle of wits. Killua mm. could survive Killua ton level blasts, and given some leeway, could scale to Yuppie, whose crater feat was worth 18 megatons of TNT. Was it Impressive, now? Okay. But the storm Misaka created beat anything Killua has done directly. Yeah. And given similar scaling to Brunhild, yeah, exactly. Not only harmed, but I did not think it would be to that level. Her output could reach hundreds of megatons of TNT. Meaning, no matter which numbers are used, Misaka yeah. would always have the advantage in raw electrical power. Absolutely. No there. Killua may have shrugged off a million volts of electricity, but Misaka can dish out and survive billions. There we go. Still, both exactly. have contended with and harmed stronger opponents, and the two power systems they work under have allowed weaker opponents to defeat stronger ones in the past. Mm -hmm. So, might alone wouldn't net either a win. Plus, Killua was way better at hand-to-hand -hand and Absolutely. stronger. Knowing his crafty assassin skills, Things could have gone south for Misaka if she wasn't careful. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately for the railgun, she was. Her yeah. <laughs> Brunhild shows she knows how to deal with tough, up close threats while keeping her distance. And being Good. able to dodge yeah. particle beams meant Misaka was more than fast enough to react to even Killua's lightning quick speed. A hundred percent, yeah. A bigger pool of powers, and she had I'm proud of myself for picking up on this stuff, but they really laid Killua's it all out. Or just pin him in place long enough to pull off a railgun finisher. Killua was strong, but he wasn't gonna outmuscle six million tons of iron sand. No. Killua was a prodigy in all things. Just then, if you don't have the feats, you don't have the feats. Beats. But Misika's varied electro powers, quick reflexes, and scientific brilliance let her cash in a win. But hey, at least she let Killua to be expected. The chain. Still a fun she fight. Killawood him. God damn. The winner is Stop Misika with the Killua puns. <laughs> You're funny at first. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Thank, you're welcome. I almost said thank you back. This year. And click the join button to get new perks and extra content. All right, let's see who's next. Even see death battles before anyone else. Hang so on. Don't miss out. Let's see who's next. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Are you kidding me? No! They're That's Stitch and Rocket! <laughs> They're doing Stitch versus Rocket Raccoon! Oh my god! <laughs> I Oh my god, I'm so sorry if my mic is the mic is peaking right now. Oh my god! They're actually doing Stitch versus Guys, this is my most wanted fight! Ever! I- I made a video less than a month ago talking about how much I wanted this fight. It was like my top 10 most wanted. This is my most wanted! This is my most wanted fight ever! Oh my god, I am shaking. I'm literally shaking right now. Oh my god. I- I can't- I can't even- I, I can't even comprehend this. Oh my god. I was thinking that they might do this at some point to commemorate Guardians 3, but then it started getting later after the movie, and I was thinking, like, okay, maybe they'll do it next year to, like, commemorate the, um, the, the, the Lilo and Stitch live-action movie. Still don't really like that that's coming out, by the way. But, oh my god, they're actually doing it now. The <sighs> Death Battle, I know you're not gonna see this, but holy shit. Thank you. I, I know I had nothing I had nothing to do with choosing this episode, of course, but thank you so much for this. Like, I, I have other like most wanted episodes. This is gonna hold me over for like so long. Like, my life is complete now. Oh my god. Oh my god. I I I know I have to review I have to review review this episode a little bit, but I, I can't even focus right now. Oh. Okay. I'm very excited. 
And it, and it is a debatable fight. It actually is. I know there's a lot of people who are very much leaning towards Stitch and a lot of people who are very much leaning towards Rocket. It is a debatable fight. They both have their advantages. It's just a matter of how will the fight go. Oh, God. Okay. that That's enough of that. I'll, you'll get a prediction from me. I, I don't know when this video is going to come out relative to that. It might come out earlier. It might come out later. I don't know. Um, but, okay. Let's talk about this fight. Um, so I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, the animation, I thought, for the most part was pretty smooth. I like that they pulled out a lot of stuff for them. Um, they, uh, you know, the, the analyses, well, some of the jokes got repetitive, of course, obviously that was the point. Um, but you know, I, I like how, how they went into detail. I feel like for some people, they might be more critical of the analyses if they know more about the characters, because there might be something where it's like, oh, they analyzed this wrong, or they should have brought this up and they didn't bring it up or whatever. And like, that's fair. Like, if you really wanted to see it done that way, then like, that's perfectly fair. But I... Like, for someone who's, you know, not really familiar with these characters, like, it felt like a decent amount of information to me. Um, and again, the analyses made sense. There was definitely some stuff in the post-analysis that I didn't fully pick up on. Um, and there was some stuff that I didn't say. Like, I, I wanted to bring up that Killa was definitely a better hand-to-hand -hand fighter. I forgot to bring that up. Um, but, uh, but yeah, ultimately, it, it really just seemed like it was in her favor based on the numbers they gave out. Um, and... Yeah, you know, I have complained before about when they're like, oh, you know, we're going to wait until the end to give out all the numbers because I like it when they, um, when they allow you to properly figure it out as opposed to withholding information. And they still didn't give you everything. Like, for some people, some people might have thought that that crater that they didn't give out a number for might have been more powerful than anything Misaka could have scaled to, you know? Some people might have been thinking that. Uh, so, you know, I, I appreciate the way that they did it. I think the script writing in general was really good. Um, again, though... I, I don't know if, um, like, I don't know if other people have complaints for that. Um, I know a lot of people wanted to see, like, um, Index, like an Index character get on the show. So, you know, good, good for you. I'm happy you got that. Sorry, I feel like I'm just, I, I'm, I'm really mumbling my words and, like, I'm, I'm stuttering them because I'm still just looking at what's in front of me and I'm still so happy. Um, yeah, I, I might, I might have to get back to you guys on, on how I feel about this episode once I can calm down. Um, because honestly, I'm 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 way happier with with this um with this announcement than I am with any individual part of this episode. But I still thought it was a fun episode. Um, I thought they went over the characters well. Again, I really like when they go over the characters like story arcs, especially when they're good, because they seem like they are pretty decent in general. Um, I I can't say for sure because I haven't watched the shows or read any of the um like the manga series or the light novel or or whatever. But um. But yeah, no, in general, I, I thought this was I thought this was a fun episode. I'm gonna have to think about it a little more as I do with all episodes, but my initial impression is that it was fun. You know, I learned about two pretty cool characters, and I'm really happy I did. I thought they presented the information well. I thought the animation, generally speaking, was fun to watch. Yeah, I, I just enjoyed it a lot. But let me know what you guys think. Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Who do you think should have won? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. Comment your comments down below. Subscribe if you would, too. That would be amazing. But no matter what you guys do, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Stitch versus Rocket, man. My, I, I, I have no words. Thank you, Death Battle, so much. That's it for me. I will see all of you guys in the next video. Peace out.